For the Brussels sprout flatbread, you're gonna need the flatbreads. We have some ricotta cheese. We have uh, Italian seasoning, an Italiano cheese blend, some Parmesan, some Mike's hot honey, a lemon, some Brussels sprouts, and then our salt and pepper and some olive oil. And it calls for vegetable oil too, but I'm just gonna use olive oil throughout the whole recipe. All right, for your Brussels sprouts. These look like little tiny baby cabbages. I personally love Brussels sprouts. They don't smell all that great while cooking, uh, but I find them to be delightful. So first we have this bottom piece. We're just gonna trim that up. And I'm just gonna use a little paring knife for this because we wanna try and get them as thin as possible and we are dealing with something pretty small. Um, and so then you're just gonna go ahead and cut it directly down the middle. Again, this will help give us a flat side. So now this side is flat so I can turn it over and we can you know, thinly slice it. So you're going to try and thinly slice this into shreds. So definitely take your time with this because this is not something that you want to have large chunks. You're looking for some shreds. So I'm just gonna do this to every single one of my Brussels sprouts until I'm all done. All right, so I've sliced up all my Brussels sprouts, but you'll see that as you start to slice them, a lot of their leaves fall off. So I just kind of gathered a lot of these leaves and then I'm just gonna go ahead and shred them. I just stack them all up together. Um, if you have some big leaves in here though, that's fine. You know, I see some bigger leaves, um, just the way the Brussels sprouts are shaped, but this is pretty much what we are looking for. I'm gonna zest my lemon, colored part only. By now I feel like we should all be pros at zesting citrus fruits. That looks good. Get that zested. And then we're gonna go ahead and just quarter our lemon. Like so. To make your ricotta topping, you're gonna take the contents of your little tub of ricotta. I just opened up and then I removed the plastic. It says to use a half a cup, but honestly, this is like a half a cup to me, so I don't feel the need to measure. And if there's a little bit more, then there's a little bit more. Ricotta is a fresh cheese that literally you can make at home with two simple ingredients, whole milk and a little bit of lemon juice, and you let it gently simmer um, if you remember the nursery rhyme, little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet eating her curds and whey. And so the milk starts to separate into curds and whey. And you take all the curds and you put it in cheesecloth and let it strain. And this is what you have. This is also the main cheese used in lasagna. So you're going to take your ricotta cheese. We're going to take about half our lemon zest. You're going to use half of a teaspoon of your Italian seasoning. half a teaspoon. You're gonna do a squeeze of lemon juice. And then we're gonna add a tablespoon of oil. And some salt. And some pepper. And we're just gonna stir this all together and you can taste it and adjust the seasonings if you like. And that is it. So that is our ricotta topping. It's gonna go onto our flatbreads. All right, for my Brussels sprouts, I'm gonna go ahead and I have a large pan here. This is actually my wok. Um, and I'm gonna add a little bit of oil And then we're gonna add our Brussels sprouts. We're going to add half of a teaspoon of our Italian seasoning. If you really like Italian seasoning, you can add more. And then some salt.
pepper. And then we're just gonna give this a good stir. Get everything nice and coated. And we're gonna cook these for about five to seven minutes. They should still stay fairly green and be nice and tender and soft. And you'll see they'll start to kind of reduce down as they lose some of their moisture. So my Brussels sprouts are looking done to me. Um, you see how they're still nice and bright green. Um, so I am gonna go ahead and I'm gonna transfer these Brussels sprouts to a bowl to stop the cooking. So my oven is preheating to 450 degrees and I've put the uh, top rack in the top position. And so I've put my two flatbreads here onto a foil line baking sheet. And I'm just gonna drizzle this with some olive oil. And then um, I'm actually gonna use this brush to kind of brush it. But if you don't have a pastry brush, no big deal. But just to kind of evenly coat it. And we're gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper on top of each. And then these are gonna go into the oven as is, just like this, for about three to five minutes until they start to get a little toasted. I've taken my flatbreads out of the oven, and so now I'm going to take my uh, ricotta cheese mixture and spread this on both halves. And so you're just gonna kind of evenly spread it all along the flatbread. Do that for both. And be careful because your pan is hot. Don't want you to burn yourself. Then I'm gonna take my Brussels sprouts and divide it amongst the two. I'm actually very intrigued to try this dish. it all out. It's kind of like a Brussels sprout pizza. Go. All right, those look good. And then we're going to take our Italian cheese blend and we're going to sprinkle it uh, over both of them. Use like half the package on each flatbread. I don't want this all to come out at once. And then you're gonna use the Parmesan cheese and you're only gonna use half of that because the other half will be for garnish. Right. So then the Parmesan cheese, we're just gonna use half. So I'm just gonna kind of sprinkle a little on each one. And this is gonna go back into the oven for about four to six minutes until the cheese is melted. So back in the oven it goes. My flatbreads have come out of the oven. And so now um, you can go ahead and cut them however you like to present. And you're gonna wanna drizzle this hot honey on top of it. If you have never had hot honey, I'm telling you, I am obsessed with this stuff. It is so good, drizzled over cheese, drizzled over like cornbread. I'm obsessed, so don't don't not try it. It's basically just honey with like cayenne pepper and a little bit of vinegar. So you're gonna use this, and then the rest of your Parmesan cheese, and then you can serve it with the lemon wedges, and if you wanna use any other lemon zest to sprinkle on top, you are also free to do that, but don't skimp, add this. So as always, I look forward to seeing your presentation.